Mike Still here for Bison's TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with fourth year guard Rashawn Brown. Rashawn, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Mike. How about you? I'm doing lovely. Thanks for asking. Uh, Rashawn, you've had a, quite, quite the whirlwind of a career. Started in Toronto, gained your experience there, then went to the, down to the States for a couple stints. Now back in Canada with the Bisons. Just talk to me about some of the biggest things you've learned from traveling so often and being uh, forced to be mature and, and live on your own at a bit of a younger age. Yeah, man, from the basketball side of it, I'd say uh, the biggest thing I've learned is, uh, you know, being a kid who loves playing basketball outside and on the streets, to take away from, uh, make it more systematic, not, not so much of a just kid playing outside on the playground, making reads and, you know, a lot of this stuff I didn't really learn until my later years in high school and then my uh, few stints down in the U.S. and I feel like I'm using this today. You mentioned earlier on that uh, your know, head coach Kirby Shep, he likes to build his systems based more around sort of the players and build the systems around that instead of a system and then get the players type of situation. So you feel like that's been beneficial, sort of having a coach that's catering more towards your skill set? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, coach is the kind of guy who will run a different offense every year if he has different players, right? Like, like I said earlier, he doesn't really recruit players to fit a uh, system. He recruits a system to fit the players, the best players he can find at the time, right? For me, for example, I like ball screens. We put in a lot of heavy ball screens, and we had Justice. to be a lot of down screens and stuff to get him open. Now we go into your second year with the team, and we've got mm -hmm. playoff experience from last season. What did you guys learn on, as a group from from that playing and from you know from the quarterfinal series last year that you can apply to this season? Uh, it's just all about possessions, man. You just got to take every every possession like it's its own individual game and think winning possessions and ultimately those things added up will hopefully turn out to be a win. Talk to me just about the dynamic of this team and how you guys have meshed so far this season. Coming on strong here late, uh, how you guys feeling with the morale like? Uh, the morale is pretty good. As a, as a team, I think we've definitely grown. Um, I like to think of it like halfway through the year, you're almost a year older. So I'm in my fourth year now, but in my head, I'm a fifth. You know, Ziwa, he's in his third year, but he's really a fourth. And everybody's just got to take that next step come second postseason. So we're always we're always uh, elevating and getting better. So we head into this play-in game. We're just going across the city to play Winnipeg. And obviously, that probably lends to a lot of people being in the crowd, being across town rivalry. Is that something you like? Rouse you up a little bit? Get more excited with the bigger crowd, especially being against the other local team here? Yeah, for me personally, it's great because like we get to be away, but I don't got to hop on an airplane. I don't like flying at all. Um, but yeah, it's for, for my teammates, it's great. They get to have their friends and families out to the game. You know, a lot of them are from Winnipeg, and I know that'll help us with the crowd. Perfect. Well, thank you so very much for your time, Rashawn. Thank you. Best of right. luck on Thursday as we hopefully uh, beat the Westman. Yeah, sounds good, man.